In an era of rapid air travel where journeys across continents took mere hours, there was one flight that even the most seasoned travelers avoided, Flight 666. Its reputation was one of mystery, terror, and unexplained phenomena. On a stormy night, as lightning streaked across the sky, Dr. Mortis Cadaver found himself in an airport lounge, surrounded by stranded passengers. Sensing their unease, he began his tale. The Haunted Flight of 666. Flight 666 was a red eye traveling from New York to London. On paper, it was like any other transatlantic journey, but those who had flown it knew better. The flight was plagued by unexplained occurrences, lights flickering, sudden drops in altitude, and ghostly apparitions appearing in the aisles. The crew of Flight 666 had their tales to tell. There was the story of the Phantom Passenger, a woman in a vintage dress who would appear in seat 13A only to vanish mid-flight. Then there was the tale of the ghostly child who would run down the aisle laughing only to disappear into thin air. But the most chilling tale was that of the pilot's voice. Midway through the flight, the intercom would crackle to life and a voice not belonging to any of the crew would announce, welcome to the flight of the damned. Investigations into the flight's history revealed a dark secret. The plane used for Flight 666 had been built using parts from a crashed aircraft from the 1940s. The previous plane had gone down under mysterious circumstances, and it was believed that the souls of those who perished had latched onto the new aircraft, forever trapped in a state of limbo. Determined to put an end to the hauntings, a medium named Isabella was enlisted. She boarded Flight 666, intent on communicating with the spirits and helping them find peace. As the plane reached cruising altitude, Isabella began her seance. The cabin grew cold and ghostly figures began to materialize. Through Isabella, the spirits communicated their anguish, their desire for closure. With compassion and understanding, Isabella helped each spirit confront their past, guiding them towards the light. As dawn broke, the plane landed safely in London, the hauntings of Flight 666 finally put to rest. Remember, my listeners, while the skies may be vast and unknown, the spirits that dwell within them seek the same things we do, understanding, closure, and peace. The story, woven from the threads of nightmares and shadows, clung to their minds like a persistent fog, obscuring the boundaries between reality and the realm of the supernatural. As the aircraft ascended higher, the passengers felt an unspoken bond, united by the haunting tale that had been etched into their memories. The cabin, once filled with the mundane sounds of travel, now seemed to echo with the whispers of unseen spectres and the rustle of phantom wings. Each passenger, regardless of their destination, carried with them a piece of the darkness that Dr. Mortis Cadaver had conjured, a shadow that would linger in the corners of their minds, forever a part of their journey through the skies. If you enjoyed our visual storytelling, please give us a like and share. Help us increase our visibility. Please leave a comment or feedback. This not only shows your support, but also helps us build a community around our storytelling. Who knows? Dr. Mortis Cadaver might show up in your neck of woods.